Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's talk math. In fact, let's talk about a very simple piece of math that has very wide applications in computer graphics. Be it something as simple as actually scaling up an image or moving you know, an object from one point to another, to something as complex as sheep keys, changing up the entire look of a mesh over time. All these operations actually make use of interpolation, which, when you actually look at the math of it, is surprisingly simple. Before we go there, however, the first thing we want to know is what is interpolation? Well, interpolation is when you actually define a start point, an end point, and you sort of want to find out what happens in between. You are basically interpolating between two known points. As it turns out, the math behind it is very simple. It is essentially just a weighted average. To simplify this very simple concept even more, let's say we have a ball moving along an axis. We want it to start at 1 and end at 2. Now, what happens intuitively when it's halfway through its motion? Well, obviously it's at 1.5, right? You just divide the range into 2. That's the exact kind of idea we are applying in the interpolation formula. In fact, all we have to do is to take the start point and the end point. We introduce a new variable which tells us, you know, whereabouts in the actual interpolation we want to look at. We're going to express this idea as a variable called t, which runs from 0 to 1. And we simply multiply that variable t in. At the very beginning, well, obviously t equals to 0. We give full weightage to the starting point and no weightage at all to the ending point. And as a result, what we get back is the starting point. Similarly, when we're at the very end, in other words, t equals to 1, we have no weightage whatsoever from the starting term, and we have maximum weightage from the ending term. So as you can imagine, what's going to happen is when t takes on some sort of middle value, we're going to get partial weightage from each side. Depending on which side t is closer to, that side is going to contribute more weightage to the final answer. So going back to our example of the ball, imagine what's going to happen if we sort of start the t off at 0 and increased it slowly over time. What we're doing is we're moving that ball slowly forwards until it reaches its destination. So yeah, that's interpolation, one of computer graphics' most indispensable bit of math, and yet so surprisingly easy. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.